snail explosion. Look at all those mystery snails. Just tons of them. So today I moved my platies into the 20 gallon. I put a different sponge intake on there because the little black one I had was just getting clogged up way too quickly. So, and then I moved in a bunch of mystery snails. The big, the big blue and ivory ones were already there, but there's also tons of little baby ones. And then two big ones. There's one big one right there and the other one right there. You can see their shells look horrible. Um, they were getting the veggie sticks with calcium. I'm not sure why their shells are so bad compared to these guys, but they didn't look good. So I put them ev all in here with the platies, and hopefully they'll start to improve. This tank is way overstocked with this many snails, but I'm just going to do a whole bunch of water changes on it. Maybe like two a week like I do the goldfish. You can see the ballasin area is starting to come in pretty good to, even though it's got a crappy light on it. So we'll see how it turns out. The tank the platies were in got cleaned out and now it's ready for the rubra that are coming next week. I have my two male rubra in here. Let's see if I can actually find them. There's one hanging out there by the house and then the other ones in the house my two little boys I had a female and she passed away oh several months now I can't remember when she did but it's been quite a while and a friend of mine had some fry growing out that for are from the same strain um, distantly related and um, She's sending me, I think, eight of them. They're unsexed, they're juveniles, but eventually they'll grow up and hopefully I'll have females I can get my colony breeding again, but they'll be living in here for the time being. Got a, you know, just a sponge filter and I put a bunch of extra sponges in there to act as hiding spots because I don't have a lot of driftwood or caves sitting around. I need to go buy a bunch of like terracotta caves and some driftwood and stuff, but for right now this will work. I'm gonna, I have some almond leaf floating at the top that'll eventually settle down and then I'll put some peat in here in a stocking to lower the pH a little bit too. Let's see, what else did I do today? Cheeky's got a water change. You can see the things on her under her eyes just kind of come and go. Sometimes you can't hardly see them and sometimes they're kind of prominent, so not sure what they are. Keeping an eye on her, but so far she's looking really good and I think she'll be able to go with the other goldfish pretty soon. I did a big water change on guppies. Um, I'm pretty sure the guppies are going to go in the 26 gallon tank upstairs just because there's a lot of them in here. There's a little bit of mom on the bottom. It's hard to siphon when you have teeny tiny fry and I have a lot of teeny tiny fry in this tank. But cleaned out the sponge filters, did a big water change. So they're all good. I'm about to do these guys. They need a big water change. Some of them probably need to be jarred, but for right now they're fine. So, didn't do a lot, but it took a long time to do what I did for some reason. Mainly catching these flatties just took forever. And then I had to pick through mystery snails and separate them from all of these ram's horn snails that were also in that 10 gallon tank. There might be a guppy fry in here I need to get out, but 
tons of ram's horn snails. I wish I had a puffer to feed these two because I don't have anything that'll eat them, but I also don't have room for a puffer right now, so I'll we'll find something else to do with them. So, on to these guys. That big guy, I'm probably going to jar. You see him chasing those guys around, and he's another one of the giants that I showed you yesterday. He's an another sibling. So... Probably gonna pull him out, do a water change, and then I have to move on to the five gallons. But all that should go a lot quicker than it did to kind of do a full um, deep clean on this tank. I had to take everything out, squeeze all the sponge filters, did filter maintenance down here on that AquaClear filter, not AquaClear, Aquion. So, nothing really exciting to show, unfortunately, just a lot of regular maintenance. These guys will look really pretty once they settle in. Of course, they're stressed right now because they just got put into a new environment, but... Oh, come on, phone. Oops. Oh, I scared them. Once they settle in, they'll be really pretty. And if you've never seen Rubra before, I suggest you look at Inglorious Betta's channel. She has gorgeous Rubra that are the same strain as these, I think. So, you can see what they look like when they're happy and colored up. Which these guys will be soon, so. Alright, I'm going to get back to work. Keep chugging along. If I find anything interesting to show you, I'll turn the camera back on. Did our water change and I found a hitchhiker. It's gonna, that's a guppy fry. Not sure how he got in here. Probably on a net. I think I put some snails in here from the other tank. I'm probably just going to leave him in here. No point trying to catch him. He'll be fine. I need to clean the glass. I'm feeding them... Um, earthworm stick. And you can see here they'll take bites off of it. There, there one goes. I just put it in so it's not quite soft yet, but as it gets softer, they'll start taking bites, more and more bites off of it. So, kind of like rapashi, just easier, you don't have to cook it. So, these guys are just, you know, leftovers from various spawns. One of them, um, was one I was gonna call, but this one right here in the front because he's got a really short body and a kinked spine but she's kind of cute so I figured I'd let her grow out a little bit longer and see if a friend wanted her my mom has a sorority so maybe she can go live with her we'll see then there's just a couple stragglers from other spawns living in here but right now they're all getting along fine, so I'm just letting them grow up. Didn't take this guy out. I probably will within the next couple of days, but... Oops, where'd he go? Oh. But for right now, I'm just going to let him stay. He's not doing any major damage. To any of the other fry so just gonna let him stay in here for a little bit longer until he starts becoming a problem so now all of these are done I still have to um, 
take that one down but I'm waiting till after I'm done with all the other tanks so I can siphon that one out and then bleach my siphon and then I'll boil all that stuff and set it back up Let's see if the rubber are back out They're, oh there's one right there in the front Let's see if I can zoom in without scaring him I'll give them some blood worms in a minute. But I'm sure they're happy to be in a big tank again. They've been in a critter keeper for a few months now. While I was waiting to get those females. Okay, back to work. Okay, I moved the two spawns that were in here into this tank. I'm sure they're all disappeared. I just left the mom in here that was already in here because it's gonna get sucked out eventually as I'm doing water changes so I just basically took the water from both of these and stuck it in here and then acclimated the fry by putting them into a cup and temperature acclimating them. Um, I was like so into what I was doing I didn't think to stop and like get it on film but pretty straightforward this tank has just kind of been sitting I did find a fry in there it's either a smaragdina fry or some kind of betta fry but um, stuck him in the guppy tank because he's too small to go anywhere else and we'll see if he survives I've had good luck before just throwing fry in here I don't see him right now though. I'm sure he's in there. Um, now I'm just looking to make sure there's no more fry in here and I think I'm gonna put, I have a pair of Betta 4 She, which are a wild Betta that are in a five gallon tank upstairs. And I'm thinking of putting them down here. I think they just do better when where I can give them a little bit more attention give them live grindle worms and stuff like that um, the fish that stay upstairs tend to not get as much attention they get all their fed feedings and everything but I'm down here so often I spend so much more time with the fish down here so I think I'm gonna move them into this tank and it's got a nice layer of mulm already built up which will be perfect for any of their fry so just gonna do a little bit of a water change and um, put some almond leaves in here and maybe a little bit of peat moss and then let it sit for a day or two and then test it to make sure the pH is low enough and then I'll transfer those two fish down here so that's gonna be it for today probably it's getting kind of late I'm not gonna get this quarantine tank taken down again but it'll get there eventually you can see the ruber tanks already starting to get a nice tint to it from the almond leaves and where those two ruber are I have no idea oh here's one he's down here in his log so there's one he loves that log. He's always in it. And then the other one is usually somewhere else. This guy always is in this log. So, alright. That's going to be it for today. Didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but I got a lot of big projects done, like switching those tanks around and stuff. So, got this tank and this tank are just set up and kind of cycling with some snails in there they're already cycled but i'm just this one was empty for the most part had a little bit of water in the bottom so i refilled it back up and put the filter back in there and so now i'm just letting it kind of cycle through get rid of all the bubbles and then i'll be doing a spawn in here um, a smaragdina spawn in here and then these which i have yet to put back together will 
be doing some beta spawns. I'm not sure who all I'm going to spawn. I have four tanks, so I could do four pairs. Um, I'll have to see who I want to spawn. Definitely these two pairs that I've talked about before, the reds and the Milano. And then, oh, and the crown tails, so that's three. So, um, that's going to be soon, probably on Wednesday. I think it's supposed to rain, so I'll do it then. So, I'm just going to go back to staring into this tank, making sure I didn't miss any fry, and then call it a day. So, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Susie, me and fat. Come here, Susie. You don't want to play anymore? Because I called you fat. And you are fat. Look at that tummy. You need to stop eating all the earthworm pellets. Need to scrub that cyanobacteria off. 